Okay. All righty, let me get a little pre pre show tea. Oh, nice car. That's a fastback, Mustang fastback. What's that, a 60, 68, 67? Dirty honey. Don't use dirty honey. Nice face. Who is this? What is this? Oh, okay. He's the one they call Dr. Feel Good. Not Dr. Who Good. Uh oh, we just stepped on this. Okay, let me shut up. Alright, now have I heard these guys before? Or is this just another brand that sounds exactly like ACDC? Well, that doesn't sound like ACDC, but the singer does. Nice poncho. Alright, nice drummer. I like this drummer. I had a pair of sneakers like that once. Once! This harkens back to the old days. Nice bass. I like this. Nice scenery. What the hell's going on here? That's a good spot to shoot a video. Uh oh. Goddamn hippie. She's fretting. Something's wrong. Let hippie just walk right by her. Self centered hippie. Ah, yeah, that's a better door. Hopefully you don't see that hippie again. Oh, it's melodic. Melodic heavy metal. It's not heavy metal. It's hard rock. This is hard rock. Oh. Steve Perry. I mean, Joe... Joe... Joe, what's his name? Joey Kramer. I don't know what I'm saying. That guy looks like Steve Perry. He sounds like Joey Kramer. Well, that's some valid rock licks he's got going there. That scarf is getting in the way, though. There's that hippie. Walk right past him. Dirty honey. This is one of these nouveau hard bands like Greater Man Fleet or that other one. Sons of Anarchy. Was that a TV show? I don't know what I'm saying. This hard rock has got me confused. Where are they playing live in Slap City? That's got a strong voice. Very nice. Uh oh. She just became a mermaid or committed suicide. One of the two. I don't know. That was pretty killing. I would say that was very killing. Dirty Honey. I think I've heard of them before. Are they the band that people say is like the new Motley Crue? Or is it a Guns N' Roses thing? What's going on here? Dirty Honey. LA. 
formed in 2017. After moving to Santa Monica in an attempt to duplicate the success of Guns N' Roses. Yeah, that's going to that's gonna work. Just move to Santa Monica. It doesn't have anything to do with Axel's talent or Slash or Steven Adler. It's just Santa Monica. Oi. They came up with the name Dirty Honey after hearing Robert Plant mention his band The Honey Drippers in a Howard Stern interview. Interesting. Open for Slash. Yeah, they got that L.A. Guns N' Roses, Motley Crue kind of vibe. Eh? In fact, am I missing something? Mm -hmm. Their self-titled Extended Play was released in March 2019 with the single When I'm Gone. It topped the Billboard Mainstream Rock Song chart, making them the first unsigned band to ever top the chart. Dirty Honey is an iHeart Radio on the verge artist. So take that. Uh, well, that's interesting. I think Lisa Loeb did some shit like that. Crossing genres for you. You know, the hard rocker, Lisa Loeb. Her, uh, her single was like number one or some shit without being signed. I think it was in uh, the movie. Uh, what movie? Some movie. Anyway. Uh, yeah, that's good. Personally, I think the name Dirty Honey is a little ridiculous. Other than that, I like them. All right. Thank you very much.